Hi everybody, I'm back again and I'm also back with starting one of my favorite, if not my favorite uh, projects and it's the Pando's Eyeshadows. So Pando's Eyeshadows, I've been doing it for the past year on and off YouTube but in my day-to-day -day life, I've been doing it. But this time, I decided to do a little Pando's eyeshadows until December just for me to uh, make some progress of my eyeshadows. If you are already watching this, you probably already know all about Project Pan, Panda Palette, Pando's eyeshadows because my channel uh, started from that and I'm still doing it. So it's just basically for me to roll through all of my eyeshadows. And right now, if you guys saw my previous videos, you would have seen the state of my makeup collection. And I just decluttered one eyeshadow palette, so I currently have seven eyeshadows. So I have three Viseart. I have three Viseart. This is Bouillon. It's very, it's used but you can barely see dents, but I've been using this. It's just that I'm very light with my makeup. And this is the Praline. Probably, this is already the most used, most, um, yeah, this is the most used out of all of my eyeshadow palettes. Because I always bring this with me when I'm traveling for weekends. But you can barely tell any dips because I... I don't really dig into my eyeshadows and I like light eyeshadows even though I'm wearing like a full makeup dark blue makeup now and I'm wearing this one this is the sh this is lapis lapi lapi from petit four from busy art as well I love this blue this is the only colorful shadow that I have yeah you can already tell this is the sultry you can already tell that my eyeshadow collection is very 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 neutral Oh, and this one. This is the second color out of all of my eyeshadows. And then I have my Natasha Denona Camel Palette. Very neutral. Mini Nude. Very neutral. And the Mini Glam. Very neutral as well. So, you can see, I have a lot of browns and neutrals, but those are the ones that I really wear every day that's why i have a lot of them and if i want some colors i have this blue i have the pink and i'm also planning on buying one eye sh one colorful eyeshadow just for those very rare occasions where i want to you know be colorful like today so those are all of my eyeshadows i have seven and all in all i have i have 38 pans and that's what we're gonna rotate through until the end of the year so I'm gonna choose five eyeshadows every month and my goal right now originally the goal of Pando's eyeshadows is to hit pan before rolling out one and then pulling in another but since as you saw the state of my eyeshadows I've had these eyeshadows for for more than a year but there's still no dent so you can see I'm really gentle with my eyeshadows i don't really like dig into it i just dip them and then that's enough for my very small eyelids so hitting pan on all of these for such a more for such a small amount of time is not possible for me at least until the end of the year so my goal is to roll in five eyeshadows every month and just see progress every month and then um after and then every month I will change my quintet just because, again, it's impossible for me to pan them. But maybe next year, once I have once I have um, used up more of this, maybe I can do the real pan, that, pan those eyeshadows where I will hit pan first or at least um, hit a goal usage before I roll them out. But for this project, from now until December, it will just be a rolling project. So just five eyeshadows every month and then roll them out and then uh, roll in another quintet so let's begin I'm not sure if you can see but it's 1 to 38 and I have my my excel sheet here so let's see 
generate. Did it generate? So the first one is 20. 20 is from my sultry. Oh, sultry and rose quartz. This is one of my favorite shadows ever. And this is the rose quartz from sultry. Oof. So you can see even swatching, I am very like limited. I don't swirl my finger in there. So this is rose quartz. It's pink with golden shimmer. So under the light, you can see the gold shift mainly. But if I tilt it, you can see the pink. So I love this shade. And we're starting on a good note. I think no matter what I chose, I, we would start on a good note because the because the remaining eyeshadows in my in my collection are all favorites. But I like that rose quartz is in here because I always pair rose quartz with bloom most of most of the time. So while using this, I can also use more of bloom. So start we're starting on a good note. The second one to complete. The quintet is 25. 25 is another one from Soul Tree. And it's the shade Twig. Oof. It's this one. It's this neutral brown. And obviously it's a good uh, neutral shade, everyday shade. So, there. Nothing exciting, but it excites me because I can wear this every day. So, twig. And then the third one is... Oof, can you see? 13. So, 13 is from the Mini Glam Palette. And it's the shade Seed. So, Seed is this one. This neutral dark brown. So I now have something to complete my to darken my quintet. I like heart I like seed. I sometimes even use it for my eyebrows because it's just neutral. And I'm glad that it's here. This rotation. So it's this one. Uh, it's a bit warmer than twig but it's this one next is number 26 26 i think is from the sultry because yeah 26 is oof this is the problem with having similar shades the number 26 is this token from sultry which is similar to seed from from the mini glam so that already divides my my focus between dark shades but we'll see how much progress I can can make so this is this open definitely darker than the other two shades and then the last shade to complete my quintet is is 37 37 is from the Viseart palette Lapi Lapi and it's oh it's Night Owl which is this blue shade that I am currently wearing on my eyes. So we'll see the looks that I can come up with. I'll probably not mix all of these all together, but I'll definitely mix some from my eyeshadows that's not in this quintet so oof, I love this shadow it's the only blue shade that I have as you as you could tell it's the only blue shade in my collection but I love this blue so so this is my quintet I'm really excited very neutral with a pop of color so I'm excited to dip into my eyeshadows. It's been a while since I really played with my eyeshadows and I think you can tell how excited I am for this project and to finally play with my makeup again. 
but yeah that's it i hope you guys um join me in this short journey of pandos eyeshadows until december and let's see the progress that i can make from my from all of my eyeshadows so this is it uh thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you on my next video or at least on my next update thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for spending time with me